It's no secret that we're in the middle of a terrible global pandemic. We need 880,000 more ventilators to fight the coronavirus outbreak. We need 74,000 in the European countries, 75,000 in the US, and of those, 30,000 in the state of New York. This is the governor of New York State demonstrating the use of back valve masks. He mentions that once the number of patients in need of mechanical ventilation exceeds the number of reserve ventilators, these manually operated devices will be utilized in huge quantities to pump air into the coronavirus patient's lungs, which is already happening. Nearly every adversely affected region is in shortage of hospital beds and intensive care equipment, and the peak of active coronavirus cases might still be far away. While using the bag mask, medical health professionals would have to constantly compress the bag for as long as the patient needs it, which could be days together. As you can imagine, this is gruesomely tiring and will further drain the already exhausted and understaffed medical team. What we've created here is essentially an add-on device to the bag valve mask. It will compress it according to the respiratory needs of the patient. It is powered with a DC servo motor hooked up to an Arduino circuit. This device can be operated with a 9 volt battery or with a mini USB cable, making it incredibly portable and easy to use in lower source settings. All you have to do is hang the bag mask on the hooks of the compression device. Now, it's not that simple. There are a multitude of parameters you need to think about before designing an emergency ventilator. You need the right pressure and the right volume going in the patient's lungs at the right time. To know more, I consulted the end user of the product, the doctor, from whom this idea originated. This is not supposed to uh, be in substitution of a ventilator uh, because this doesn't have sophistications like adjusting the positive and expected pressure or tidal volume um, or uh, uh, CO2 capnography, things like that. But at least if something can compress this at a set frequency, just like I'm doing now, uh, then no one will need to be exposed to a patient and need to bag someone for hours. Insights from the doctors help me incorporate frequency settings. You can scale the device from 5 breaths to 20 breaths per minute. The doctor has the control over the stroke intensity as well. The entirety of the bag mask compressor project, including the compilation of the video, materialized over the last 7 days of stay home quarantine. This is relatively low tech, with all the materials and components bought from Home Depot and Fry's Electronics Store. To get into the numbers, this project cost me $87 in materials and components. This number could be $40 or lower in developing nations such as India, Iran, or Southeast Asian countries. The compressor withstood a rigorous test of 30 hours continuous operation with no parts failing. Many of the research labs which undertook this project discovered overheating of the motor to be a major issue, which is why effective ventilation was integral to the initial stages of design. With economies of scale, we can bring the cost further down and make the product available to the regions that have taken the strongest hit. Feel free to reach out with any ideas and suggestions, and subscribe if you want more updates on the bag mask compressor. Thanks for watching.